She was paralyzed in a freak accident aged 11. And she contacted our YouTube channel two months ago, asking for our help to find someone. Coming up in the Lear and Blair slog, this is how we found Marlin's father in the Islamic city of Marawi. And today, what you've all been waiting for, this is Marlin's story. For 37 years, she's never seen her father. We are going to reunite Marlin with her long lost father, Kokoi Makadato. Join us on this final epic episode. And after two months of searching, we have found her father. So guys, we're back at Marlin's house. She thinks that we're bringing the wheelchair with us today. We've got that ordered, but now we'll just go down and tell Marlin that we found her father. Let's go. 37 years, guys. <laughs> Coming up, Marlin is about to see her father for the first time in 37 years. Marlin, what do you remember about your father, Kokoi? Do you have any memories? How old were you? I was only a month. Oh, only one month. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember anything. Did you ever see any pictures? No, nothing. What do you think that you would say to him if you find him? What would you say to your father? I really want to know if he's, he was thinking of me or he's like Liam May is about to tell Marlin to that we have found her find father. You. Yeah. Yesterday we traveled from Cebu to Cagayan. Cagayan to Iligan and Iligan to Marawi to meet and see and confirm that Kukui Makadato is here father. So we went to their house Telling and somebody is always very emotional. He confirmed. And he remember you. He he remember the name that is giving to you. And he's saying that in the video how how he pronounced it. Jamaila. And you're ten years old. We uh, at ten you're ten months old when your mom bring you to Cagayan. Kagayan, Kanituan, and he wanted to come here and find you, and he always playing in his head that he wanna find his daughter. He's thinking about you all the time. <laughs> yeah. And how would Marlin react to this video? Can you press that button. <laughs> This was the moment in Marawi that Leah May confirmed that Kokoi Makadato was Marlin's father. And Marlin was looking at her father for the first time in 37 years. And all of Marlin's pain was on full display coming out after seeing her father. Marlin, I've got some news for you, okay? If you'd like to take a look at this picture, do you recognize the person in the picture? That's our guide, Kokoi. And that's your father. And he's on his way to see you now. <laughs> your father's coming here now. We've just got notice that he's on his way. They've left Marawi. Our awesome guide, Kokoi, 
has helped your father get into the van and they're on their way here now and he's on his way after 37 years your father's on his way to see you she tells her mother he's coming your father's coming here now are you ready to meet your father yeah surprise yeah. <laughs> i am there. we had just surprised marlin with the biggest shock of her life how are you feeling I can't understand my feeling to be honest, but this is like how many times like we did it reunion, but it still like gets me, you know. The feeling is it makes emotional, like you don't know if you need to pee or something. <laughs> like I feel like I am the daughter meeting my father for the first time. Yeah, that's how I feel. Same. Yeah. <laughs> that feeling of nervousness and excitement at the same time. Yeah. Now that we've told Marlin and her mum that Marlin's father's on his way, Marlin's raced back off into the house and she's getting changed. She wants to change her outfit to look good for her long lost father. Coming to see her after 37 years. The two girls are chit chatting to each other really quickly in fast language like, what do we do? Where do we go? How do we do this? So just, just unbelievably awesome. Malin, your father's here. I'm just going up to greet them. <laughs> this unbelievable moment of a daughter meeting her father for the first time was about to play out. Guys, Malin's father's just arrived in the taxi. Let's go. He was here, Kokoi Makadato, although he looked nervous. The moment had arrived. Marlin looked up and saw her long-lost father walking towards her. He had travelled across the mountains to see his long-lost daughter. And the last time he had seen her was when she was just a baby. Would there be a language barrier? Would they understand each other? Perhaps that just didn't matter. As he got closer, he stared intently into her eyes. Marlin hugged him intently. These two beautiful people had lost contact, but now they were finally together. <laughs> Kokoi Makadato placed his hand on his daughter's head and I think only then did he realize his daughter was in a wheelchair. He crouched down on the floor and intently checked her legs and feet. Marlin said, it's my dream to meet you. I will show you my ID, he said. And he passed it to her. A real name, a real identification card that Marlin could hold and read her father's name with a photograph. Her father, Kokoi Makadato. I have been waiting a long time for this moment to meet you, she said. Yes, for 37 years she had been waiting for this very special moment. It was awkward between him and Marlin's mother. Then he ushered his son to greet Marlin. Marlin didn't even know she has brothers and sisters. And her new brother Imran embraces her warmly. Did you remember the national ID card that her father showed her? Well, Marlin was still clutching this card in her hands rubbing her thumb over his photograph. She explains, I have a problem doing a pee and that's why I use a catheter. It's, Daddy, it's first time Kukoy Makadato traveling to Cagayan. Okay. So it's his first time here right. just to meet his mm -mm. daughter. Mm -mm. That he's wanting to meet since for a long time. Uh -uh. Well, we made it on the Lear and Blair slog. Yeah, it's impossible, 
but we did it without the help of the people around us kuya kokoy with a big heart that giving his time to find marlin's father he's not sleeping last night no sleep no sleep last night me full of sleep because of that because you're showing us around so and because of him we reunite the father and daughter for the 37 years i am very happy very very happy uh, it's a dream come true mm. <laughs> yeah can thank you, you so much Kokoi, thank can you, you ask so Kokoi, how he's feeling <laughs> Full of relief, he said. Full of relief. Relief. Maybe happiest moment of his life. Yeah. So you cannot, you cannot uh, explain the feeling. I know. You cannot explain. Both of them. Allah's plan. Believe me, my plan. Everything. Lahat ng nangyayari. Thank you so much. Lahat ng nangyayari because of the. This is the man that we reach out to, Marlin, and he's the one going around. When you saw him coming down Malin, your father, when you saw him walking, is he like you imagine? In your, did you imagine your father to look like this, or you have a different? No, I just all I felt was I really want to you, go after her. You really want to her, run yeah. to him? Yeah. Nothing <laughs> else in my mind. <laughs> He, his father requesting they will eat in one plate. Oh wow. So guys, the love of the father, he wants to sit close with Marlin and eat from the same plate. Marlin was overcome with emotion by this gesture from her father. This morning she had woke up thinking the day was just going to be like any other day. But she would probably remember this day for a very, very long time. In fact, she would probably never ever forget this day. As they sat there eating, Kokoi told me something. He's saying sorry for the last time. What's your name in English? I abandoned you. I abandoned you for... This proud... Murano, Muslim man, had accepted his daughter and sat with Marlin catching up on lost years. Marlin also had a new brother to catch up with. Marlin, who is your new friend? My, my brother. What's your name, Dong? Imran. Imran? Yes. And how old are you? I'm 18. 18. Kububayako. I'm happy. Kububayako. <laughs> It was time for a selfie. Marlin wanted to capture the moment with her brother Imran. Pukababaya? Pukababaya. Murano language. Happy. Pukababaya? Pukababaya ako. Everybody's happy. My father. Ama. My new amigo. My friend in Mindanao. Kuyo Kokai. I will put his details up on the video. So if anyone is heading to the Marawi area and is looking for a guide, Kuyo Kokoi will take care of you and look after you the same way as he looked after myself and Liam A. So his contact number is in the description, guys. Thank you, Kuyo Kokoi. It's my pleasure. Marlin wanted to thank Liam A for everything that she had done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so <laughs> But our mission was not over just yet. There was one more thing that we needed to do. The people who had been watching Marlin's story from the start had kindly donated a wheelchair, a brand new wheelchair for Marlin. This Marlin's new wheelchair. This was important. It's the least that we could do. Special shout out to Wesley Young, fellow Aussie. Thank you so much for your donation towards Marlin. <laughs> Guys, there's so many names to mention. I can't obviously mention them here, but you know who you are. Sees everything. I'm behind it, it's okay. Marlin's old wheelchair was really broken and she desperately needed a new wheelchair. Yay! <laughs> Reversing. Yeah, Marlin has 
So, we're really happy that Marlene got a new wheelchair. Thank you for the people who supporting us, who supporting Marlene, who's following Marlene's journey. It's it is a successful journey, and without you guys, these things cannot be happen. So, without your support, we cannot do it. Me and Blair itself. Thank you so much, everyone. To do sa kind-hearted people who donated my go uh, my go get funding uh, I'm so very grateful to you all uh, thank you so much guys <laughs> there are still kind people in this world who shared what they could to help this woman Marlin and finally take a look at this so this is the picture that Marlin drew for myself and Leah May just from a photo that Leah sent to Marlin. So Marlin's got an awesome talent there, guys. Marlin, are you going to take up taking orders for some of your viewers to send in their photos and then you can draw their picture? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and Marlin, guys, has her own YouTube channel. Marlin, can you tell us what your YouTube channel is, please? Uh, the name of my YouTube channel is Simple Living on Wheels. I hope you will visit us on my channel. Simply amazing. Marlin has had no formal training. Thank you, Marlin, for this picture. We will treasure it. He's the man. No, you're the man. He's the man. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs>